Hello, this is Conquering History Games with another guide to the world of Kaiser Reich in Hearts of Iron 4. Today is not going to be a guide on a specific country, but instead on an event. I'm going to be showing you the way that you could unite the Italian Federation and the Socialist Republic of Italy peacefully without going to war. Now, this is uh, not going to be put within a country guide because there's a way for each country to do it. So at first, I am going to start with the Socialist Republic of Italy and explain it from there. Let's get started. Just for a little bit of context without going too into the lore of Kaiserreich, Italy was split in half following the end of the First World War in this universe, and the Italian Federation in the north is underneath the Pope. And in the south, there is the Socialist Republic of Italy, which is essentially being held up by the Commune of France. Neither is a very powerful nation, but united, they could be much stronger. So I'm going to be dismissing all these different sorts of alerts that are unnecessary. The first thing that you have to do is you have to have your fourth congress happen, which you are unable to select this focus until it is uh, after April 1st, 1936. So I'm just going to fast forward to that moment when you can take that focus. Okay, it is now April of 1936, and uh, just get, I, you can now begin the Fourth Congress of the Greater Italian Union. And this only takes one week to complete. In fact, you should just complete instantly because I let the national focus time queue up. So uh, you're now going to get to work. Uh, this is just about sending volunteers to help in the... Uh, Oh, no, this is about the CNT. Anyway, this this doesn't matter right now. Don't, don't worry about that. So you're going to let some time go by. And eventually you're going to have to make your decision on which of these three branches of syndicalism that you want to follow. Like most syndicalist countries, you can either go totalist, radical socialist, or um, syndical, just regular syndicalist. So if you want to propose the peaceful reunion, and you can look at uh, some of the requirements here, one of the ways you could do it is that both you and the Italian Federation are radical socialists. So we're going to be looking at that version of doing it. Uh, so for all of these policy options that you were going to be given, uh, I'm going to be selecting the radical socialist one just to absolutely ensure that they get into power. Which is also, I think, a good idea for... Uh, there, there we go. For people who are beginners to Kaiserreich to just go all in on a political power is, I mean, um, one of the political parties as they possibly can. So we have the Social Reformationist Majority. You have Filippo Turati here. And you could just then begin to go down his path if you so choose. So we'll just go ahead and get started on that. We'll bypass it first and then uh, just start that one. So step two for creating the Socialist Republic of Italy involves the Italian Federation. As you can see, Pope Pius has already died, although it looks like they're finishing up one of their uh, focuses. So let's go ahead and head over to the Italian Federation. And now we are going to, whoops, and now we're going to uh, play as them from now on. So I'm going to let the Academy of Science finish, and then I will call for the Papal Conclave so that a new Pope could be elected. I'll see you then. After the Papal Conclave focus is complete, you get to choose between one of these four men as your new pope. And much like in uh, the United States, where you can elect a president, and after you elect that president, you can then go down their focus tree, you get to decide which of these four men that you are going to follow. If you want to attempt the peaceful reconciliation with the Socialist Republic of Italy, you're going to go want to go with Pope John the 23rd here. Uh, Achilles Leinhart. So, once you've selected him, he'll be your new national leader, and you can start going down his focus tree. So I'm going to just use the uh, console commands here just to speed things up and show you what happens at the end of his focus tree, because that is the important part for... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have to bypass it. There we go. That is the important part for achieving this peaceful unification. So, after you finish power to the people, you are going to have a democratic election where you can choose who is going to be the ruler of Italy besides the Pope. You are going to want to become radical socialist. So once you choose the Italian uh, Socialist Party, 
you're going to have low popularity right now. But since you are radical socialist and the Socialist Republic of Italy is radical socialist, you then have the option to propose the peaceful reunion. Which again, I'm just focused auto-completing it. Let's take a look over here. You may notice that the Italian opinion of the Socialist Republic of Italy is minus 200 and theirs of you is minus 700. But they will still accept your proposal and uh, you're going to lose a lot of political power. But there you have it. The Italian People's Republic has been created and you will continue to have your initial Italian Federation focus stream as well as everything that you have researched from it. There is, however, a slightly different path that you could take when doing this. And to observe that, I'm going to flip back over to the Socialist Republic of Italy. So there's going to be a cut here. Now I'll show you what it looks like from the Socialist Republic of Italy side. So once again, we have the radical socialists in power in the north as well as in the south. Just using the consul commands again just to speed things up. Of course, you're not going to get this done in 1936, but... We'll propose the peaceful reunion, let some time go, and they will accept the proposal once again. Now, one thing, other thing I want to uh, point out, though, is if you are the South absorbing the, uh, the North, you are going to get more, um, for example, social conservatives who are going to enter into your government because those are the political views of the people of the North. If you are the North uh, absorbing the South, then your totalist and radical socialist and stuff numbers are going to go up. But in this case, you get the red Italy and you get to keep your uh, Socialist Republic of Italy focus tree. And of course, you're also going to get all the military forces and the navy of the other half of the country that you absorb. But that's really all there is to it. It's relatively simple to do, much less complicated than, say, bringing India together. Uh, as if you've already seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But I hope that this was helpful for you. And subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And click the little bell so you're always notified whenever I have a live stream or I've uploaded a new video. Like this video if you did like it. And remember that if you are a member of my Patreon, which I have a link to in the description below, that you get to vote on future content, particularly Kaiser Wright Guides, on this channel. So thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.